Okay, am I allowed to touch this without getting seriously hurt? Welcome back to your home garage. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't be afraid of your car battery. Now, in fact, under normal conditions, a 12 volt battery will not shock you. Now the math could get a little bit complicated, but the main reason that you can safely touch the positive and negative terminals of the car battery and walk away unscathed is due to the voltage of the battery. You see, car batteries have a nominal voltage of 12 volts, which can vary up or down depending on the level of charge. Alone, that just doesn't have enough to pose a problem. That's why you can safely touch both terminals of the car battery without receiving a shock. Traditional car batteries are capable of delivering a lot of amperage in short bursts, which is the main reason the lead acid technology is still in use. Starter mortars require a lot of amperage to run, and lead acid batteries are good at providing short, intense bursts of amperage. However, there is a world of difference between starter motors and the high contact resistance of the human body. While a car battery has enough amperage, electrical power to kill you, it doesn't have enough voltage, electrical force, to push the electrons through your body. Your body is just not conductive enough to be fried by 12 volts. If you were made of metal, well that would be a different story and 12 volts would crisp your circuits. Like any substance, our skin contains certain conductive and resistance properties. By contrast, our skin is a relatively poor conductor of electricity, meaning it resists more of the electric current than it actually conducts. And that's why you can actually touch the terminals of a car battery without feeling a shock, although you may feel a tingle if your hands were wet. However, hybrid and electric vehicles have totally different setups. Those car batteries often use lithium ion or nickel metal hydride technology instead of lead acid. And they're often rated at 200 or more volts. So I would totally let the professionals handle those ones. However, 12 volt batteries are not harmless though. There are many ways that you can injure yourself with a car battery. The main danger associated with car batteries is explosion, which may occur due to a phenomenon known as gassing, where the battery releases flammable hydrogen gas. If that hydrogen gas is ignited by a spark, the entire battery can explode. This is why it's so important to follow the correct procedure when hooking up jumper cables or a battery charger. If you touch both terminals with a metal wrench, for instance, you can create a spark and ignite the hydrogen gas in the battery. Keep in mind, although you can't be electrocuted by simply touching the terminals of a regular car battery due to the low voltage, you can receive a nasty shock from other components of a traditional automotive electrical system. For instance, in ignition systems that use a cap and rotor, an ignition coil is used to provide a tremendous amount of voltage that requires to push a spark across the gap of a spark plug. Typically by touching a spark plug wire or coil wire with frayed insulation while also touching the ground, you will definitely feel a bite. And what about unhooking the battery? Does it matter which one of the terminals you remove first? The reason you remove the negative first is because it's safer for you. The negative cable is attached to the chassis of the car. So when you put a wrench on the negative terminal to loosen it and say if that wrench slips and it hits the chassis, nothing will happen. Once you take off the negative cable, you can then go to the positive without any worry. With the negative cable removed, if your wrench were to hit the chassis once you're removing the positive, nothing would happen because the negative is actually disconnected. If you were to take the positive off first and your wrench touches the chassis as it did with the negative, you could get an incredibly huge spark and maybe even more as the wrench pulls a lot of current. The spark could be hot enough to throw bits of molten metal and maybe even weld the wrench to the car. So it's a lot safer just to do the negative first. But if you were to take off the positive without the wrench hitting and no spark, it'll be fine. Nothing will happen or harm the electrical system. And there you have it. Handling your car battery doesn't have to be a scary thing. As long as you respect it, you'll be fine. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend. Also, please comment below as I reply to all. Plus, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Your Home Garage. Mm -hmm.